Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a nice little simple painting. Anyone can do. And I hope you really try this painting out. So let me run the colors across the screen that you'll need starting with my titanium white all the way to my bright red. Now, while they're doing that, let me tell you what I've done up to my canvas. Let me move out of the way a bit. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas, double pine, pre-stretched, and I added a thin layer of liquid white. That's all I did, and and we could get started now. So, I'm gonna go into a little bit of Prussian blue. You're gonna tap in the bristles into the paint for an even distribution. And I'm just gonna randomly go in some brush strokes to give my sky some action. We're gonna blend this out eventually and it's gonna look in a way interesting. So just going across, not caring if some places have more paint than others because I just want that interesting look for this painting. I don't want a subtle sky. Okay, now I'm gonna put some water down below. So I'm just gonna go back and forth right here on the bottom while I have that little bit of glue. Okay, now I'm gonna beat the brush. And this brush has less paint now, so we can blend out the brush though. And back in the bottom. Now, let's go into a one inch. Now, the reason why I beat my brushes before uh, putting paint in them is for the reason that it sprays out the bristles so all the bristles could get uh, paint. So, with the top corner of the brush, it's gonna get polluted either way, but I just wanna put in little clouds here and there. Something simple, something light. I don't really care. I'm gonna wipe it off. Maybe one here in the bottom. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab another two inch. Let me dry the bristles. And just with the top corner of the brush, blend the bottom of the cloud and lightly lift up and go across. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into an oval brush, but right before that, I'm gonna mix up a dark paint. I'm gonna get Prussian blue, lizard and crimson, then a black, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Maybe a little bit of sap green. Make sure it's fully mixed in. Now, we could go into that brush now. Tap some paint into the bristles. Now, it has an oval into the brush, so it's gonna make it appear as if grass were to be oval in this painting. So I'm just gonna tap the bristles. Kind of indicate where I want my grass to be. And you can kind of fill in the rest, doesn't really matter. You just gotta tap the outer layers. Now, I'm gonna get my palette knife, cut across. You cut across by rolling your blade across the paint, keeping the paint flat and rolling across, and you'll get that nice little roll of paint on the edge of your knife. Now, maybe there's a little bit right here. Something subtle. Now I'm gonna go back, cover some of it. 
with this dark color, which seems to be grass. Okay. Rub in the rest. Okay. Now I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm gonna go into a little bit of cadmium yellow. Pick up a little sat green if I want to. And I'm gonna thin it out with a little bit of liquid white. Liquid white, what it will do is thin out your paint. And as you know, a thin paint will stick to a thicker paint. That's why I'm thinning out my paint. And just tap some of that out. Just like so. Just tapping the bristles and adding that green layer give the effect or the illusion of some grass. Now this style of painting does use up quite some paint so you can't be scared of using a lot of paint. You gotta just be willing to use all the paint you have if necessary. Same thing to the other side. But before that, I just remember, I'm gonna get a small palette knife, to get a little bit of dark sienna, get a little bit of white, mix it up. Don't mix it up completely, because then it'll lose the illusion of a rock or something like that. Cut across, and I just want a little indication of what seems to be dirt or a cliff something in the distance. Now go back into my brush, push the paint in, and just tap it out right here on my canvas. Maybe it covers in. And where you want light places, what you want to do is add in a bit more yellow or a bit more white to brighten up your color. So all I'm doing is tapping that paint. You can always come back and fix it if you want to. Just tap that paint. The only reason why we put in dark is to establish where you're gonna put your area. And just so the dark pops out with all the uh, highlights because if you have just highlight, then your highlight won't pop out. But if you have all dark, then nothing will pop out. So you need a bit of both in order for it to stand out. I'm just putting in a little highlight here and there. Okay, now I'm going to mix up a color, leaving that dark color. I'm going to add some Van Dyke Brown, maybe a little bit of Dark Sienna to it. Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna to that dark mixture. And all I'm going to do is pick up that paint and pile it up so I can load it better on my brush. Now, I'm going to be using a fan brush, number six. Load that fan brush full of paint. Roll it through the paint. And maybe there's gonna be a tree somewhere around here. Okay, let me wash the brush. Something simple, rinse it out. Now, what I'm gonna do is let me go back to that dark sienna and white mixture. Cut across. Where is my highlight area? Maybe it's over here. Lightly graze it so the paint could break a bit. And just pulling it down just a little bit. If you put too much pressure, it's gonna look like icing on the cake. You 
you can pull it across a bit. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to maybe let's huh, cut a bush. So get the bristles open again. Load my one inch brush. Maybe tap in the shape of a bush. Load your brush full with cadmium yellow, maybe a mixture of yellow ochre, some liquid white, load it truly, and some light pressure. And to okay, so the video cut off, but let's continue. I left it where it was. But all I'm going to do is add more liquid white into my uh, yellow to thin out the paint more. Just lightly put in a bunch of two over here in the bottom. Maybe some Indian yellow. Tap some of that paint into the bristles. And it should be no pressure having to push in those highlights into your bush. Now, I'm gonna get a palette knife and you can just scratch stuff what looks to be sticks and twigs with the corner of your palette knife. I recommend you scratch in these little designs in the dark area so it will pop out more. So, all I'm doing is scratching in a few. Now, I'm going to get a small fan brush, number three, liquid white, and some titanium white load it up full of white paint maybe and just like so pushing that paint back into so I can mix with the phthalo blue and all I'm doing is making some design of a few little crafting waves in water let me add a small little rock so into my knife and load it full of dark paint maybe a little rock Right over here. Some dark tin and white. And kind of benefits you if you have a little shaky hand because then it's gonna look a bit more natural when the finished painting comes out. And when you wanna make up that foam, let's zoom in a bit into here. You just get your brush and you push the bristles upwards just so you could achieve the look of some foamy water coming out. Just tapping that brush. You could go back and forth. Maybe right here goes off. Now, I'm gonna get my small palette knife, some of that dark color. A little bit more midnight black. Scoop up that paint, mix it pretty well. Cut across a small little paint. And I want to make a little pack on my bushes. I changed my mind and I chose to do that. And when you're painting, you should do whatever you want because that's your painting and you should be completely satisfied with your painting. So just slightly add a little bit of dark sienna white highlight. Maybe it comes up to here. I don't know. I don't know just yet. So now, I'm gonna load my brush my filbert brush number six 
maybe there's another tree right along here. Now, you could get a one inch, tap the bristles on the paint, and let your brush lightly tap some of that out. I need loads more paint. I'm running out of paint on here. And like black, then like brown, tap green, fill up the red and crimson, fresh and blue. Just like so, something dark, so when you put your highlight, it'll stand out. Okay, tap your brush into that paint. And just tapping in a few little, what's gonna be some leaves in that tree. Okay. Load up your, uh, I forgot how you say it. Your cadmium yellow, load up your one inch. You need to add some white. Hold up, I think I had another dirty brush with that color. <coughs> So, tap it, really, it helps when the bristles are sprayed out, because then it creates a better illusion. Okay, I'm going to clean the brush, because if not, I'm going, I'm going to forget to clean that brush, and it damages the bristles. Rinse it out with water. Take off the axis. Beat the devil out of it. Now, I'm gonna cut a roll of dark skin and white. And just add a little highlight to that tree over there. Okay. Now, add a bit more liquid white. Now the difference between liquid white and liquid clear is if you use liquid clear, the colors of your paint won't change. It'll stay the same, uh, but it'll just thin out your paint. Compared to liquid white, in liquid white, it will, it will obviously turn your colors more lighter because it's mixing with that white paint. But that's all the difference. A little bit of liquid white. Just to highlight here and there. But if you put that liquid white everywhere, then you lose that sort of highlight. So only in some certain areas. Don't put it everywhere. Now you're gonna lose that effect. Okay. Well, uh, let's get this brush. Let me fix up my bushes a bit. So, how I said last time, just pushing in, little bush, nothing crazy. Scratching a few little sticks and twigs. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna use my filbert brush for this. Load up your filbert. Maybe, or Never mind, I'm gonna use my fan brush for this. You can just tap those uh, branches out. Pretty simple. Okay, we'll come back to that. Maybe there's a cabin in this scene. So all I'm gonna do is cut out where I think my cabin's gonna be. Okay. That dark color, cut across, put in that dark. Now, dark skin and white, I need to mix 
flip a bit more. Here we go. The car. Gentle now with the small pallet knife, you can cut out what seems to be a little door. Some dark. And by the look of this, you could already have a finished painting. But I'm gonna add a few little highlights here and there to some trees and bushes just here and there maybe we has a few little grassy area or bushy leaves I don't know you can see the trunk of that tree Just to finish this painting, just kind of rub in some dirt. I know it's really hard to look like dirt, but that's why we're gonna add the highlight of dark skin and white. I'm gonna wash this dress, rinse it out, dry it, and wipe it off. Dark skin and white. Maybe some liquid white. And all I'm gonna do is just simply come back and add that little highlight. So I won't just look like it's something dark over. I think we could call this pain and feeling. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to start signing off for this pain. So I really thank you for joining me in this painting. I know it's not the best weather, as you could probably hear. It's raining and it's not the warmest. But this is a nice little simple painting that anyone can do, even a beginner. But if you're starting off, don't fall out of my pace. Try to go a bit slower so you could do this painting. But rather than that, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.